Alright, shalom brothers and sisters, peace and love, may the most high, through the name and spirit of his beloved son, bless you and yours for checking out the video. My name is Ayasha Maf, um, Truth or Die Camp. Just want to hit you with a quick video and lesson, uh, dealing with our people, alright, the true children of Israel, the Jews, and what's wrong with them, okay? Um, I just watched the video that Dark One Son did, and uh, he made reference to... Uh, the black people in America being the children of Israel and being the true Jews uh, that the history of the Bible is all about and um, he was dead on and correct about that but I just want to do a quick follow up video um, after I seen his and go over some of the curses that the Most High God said would come upon our people if we, if we didn't obey his laws alright and you might ask what laws did we break uh, we're going to be going over a couple laws that we broke um, in order to get in this position uh, I'm going to be reading out of Deuteronomy the 28th chapter Alright And you're basically going to see that the curses That the Lord said that he would put on our people Are the same curses that are on our people Alright So with no further ado We're just going to jump straight into the scriptures man This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15 It says this But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. Now we're going to jump around, skip around. You can read the whole chapter, the whole book of Deuteronomy on your own. I'm just going to go over some specifics. Okay. Starting here. Verse 41 in Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're going to be there this whole video for the most part. It says, Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that's exactly what happened to us right here in the land of our captivity, America. All right, when we were brought over here in captivity on slave ships, all right, and sold on auction blocks, all right. In case some of y'all forgot the history on it, um, it's pictures and all type of history to show you what our history looks like in this country. All right, all on this sign right here. This is our history in this country. See that? All this, all that, all this. See that? That's us. This is what we've been through since we've been over here. All right, we've been subject to murders, lynchings, and captivity. All right, slavery. Okay? Still to this day. All right? Bible goes on to say this. Um... Verse 54 says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. See that? That's why you got black on black crime. You have gang violence. All right. You got the men out here. A lot of cats have been saying lately that the men have no unity because the curses of the Bible is upon the people of the Bible. Us. Who, who God said it was going to come upon. All right, that's why the ma the males is hating and killing and robbing and stealing from each other. But they won't dare rob a white man, Asian man. All right, they won't go into other communities and do anything. Okay, but when they see their brother so-called shining, gold chain, uh, uh, rims on the car, flashing money, the first thing that come to mind is to rob him. All right. 
It says his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. That's why you have so much domestic violence in our community. Okay? That's why you have men that just sleep with women and leave them. Okay? With all kind of babies inside of them and they just leave them and don't call them no more. That's why so many men beat their women. Alright? It says toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave. Alright? Which he shall L-E-A-V-E -E, leave and go bye-bye. That's why so many of you was on YouTube talking about um, no fathers being in the house. No fathers being in the community. No mentors being in the community. The black man being absent in the home because the Lord God said we were going to leave our children. Talking about the black men. Okay. Verse 56. It says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot up on the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. All right. All that eating your own children is talking about cannibalism that we were forced to. All right. In 70 AD, when the Romans ended the Jewish state, learn history. And also the rest of that, it said the eye of the woman that was so delicate, she wouldn't even put her feet on the ground barefoot because she was so clean and delicate. All right. And so beautiful. Everybody knows who, what women are the most beautiful on the planet when they're on point. All right. It's the black and brown women. And it said that I was going to be evil. That's why you that's why black men get on YouTube complaining about women having bad attitudes because we transgress the law of the Lord. And that curse that I just read is cleaving unto us. All right. Just like the brown skin that we have, these curses is wrapped all around us. The Most High God said that men were going to hate each other. Hence, black on black crime, gang violence, so on and so forth. The Lord God said that the eye of the woman was going to be evil. Hence, the attitude of uh, 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 this evil acting black woman. Okay? You have atheists out here quoting the Bible. Talking about they don't believe in the Bible no more. You have people that say they don't believe in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the Christ, the Son of God, saying that they don't believe in the New Testament, yet when you carry a conversation on with them, all they do is quote the New Testament. Okay? You people are the lowest of the low. Stop acting like it. Okay? Turn back to your power and your heritage. Matter of fact, This is Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. The scripture says this, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that uh, I shall give thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. The land that uh, your forefathers knew not was the land that you in right now serving your enemies. Okay? The same people that brought you over here on slave ships. Okay, that's who you go to work for every day. All right? Let me get a shot of this. Dude. Where is it? Let me get it. Right there. See that? Who needs niggas? That's the way it is right there. Okay? Okay? I want to thank Dark One Son once again for making his video and also mentioning the fact that we are the Israelites. Alright? Our problems stem out of here. The Old Testament is about us. Okay? The New Testament is, 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 is when our Savior came to get us back together. 
and then the remnant of the other peoples around us could come into our religion and our heritage. Okay? Matter of fact, real quick, a lot of you need to read this book from Babylon to Timbuktu. Okay? You try to find. Here we go. This is page 84 from Babylon to Timbuktu. See this? Okay? I didn't even want to make this video at the first because we've been on here, on this internet, on this YouTube, saying this for, for years now. Centuries, as a matter of a fact. If you go to History of Israel 7, my other YouTube channel, I did a video called The History of the Hebrew Israelite Movement. All right? There were Hebrew Israelite Jewish, okay, churches that was set up way back in 1896. Okay? Nat Turner rebelled because he said that he had a vision from God. Gabriel Prosser said that he had a vision from God. Okay? Or it was reported that, that, that those things were being said. Okay? Babylon to Timbuktu, chapter 84. Okay? Also, let me say this real quick. The STL Israelites just did a video proving the authenticity and the historical um, mentions of Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the Lord and Savior of our people and the whole world. All right? Romans and Greeks writing about him. Before 325 or whenever BC, before the Council of Nasir. Okay? Why would the enemies of Christ write a book about him if he didn't exist? Alright? I know I'm jumping around with my thoughts, but I didn't prepare much for the video. I seen Dark One Sun video. Figured I'd, I'd do a quick video. Okay? But you black people, you brown people, you so-called Hispanic people... The brothers and sisters, the lowest people on the face of the earth, you are the children of Israel. Okay? The Jews. Okay, those, 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 those people over there saying that they're the Jews. You know, the Jews, the blue star, white people, the basketball owners, the rich people, the lawyers that you try to go get when you get some money. Okay? They've taken our heritage on. Understand that. Don't you see it in movies? White people playing Egyptians. Okay? White people playing Moors. White people playing Persians. White people playing Jesus Christ in movies. The Passion of the Christ. Same thing happened with the children of Israel. Do you understand? Babylon to Timbuktu, page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem in 70 A. Uh, uh, next sentence. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. Okay? The, the Jewish state that you see today is not authentic. Because the true Jewish state ended in 70 AD. And it was our ancestors that had their uh, uh, sovereignty put to an end. Um, put an end to the Jewish state with great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has, it has been estimated that over a million Jews fled into Africa. Flink. Fleeing Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were, f were full of black Jewish slaves. Okay? The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. You're not African. Okay? If anything, you're Middle Eastern. Okay? What's this guy, the, uh, the, the nigga with the tattoos is his username. I don't know why that's his username, but he done a video recently saying how he was an African-American. And guess what? He was right. Then you Afrocentrics who will never, as long as you live, 
ever go back to Africa. And as long as you live, you will never see the African government taking measures to get you home. Roasted and ridiculed that guy when he was right. Even let's say we were African and we did come from Africa and you know the people over there we was the same we went back to the, we had the same bloodline. We all went back to the same ancestors. Why aren't they why are aren't y'all at least bit upset that they not trying to do anything to come get us? You're not African. Okay? Somebody else is living in your homeland right now. That's why you can't go back. All right? That's the fact of the matter. Um Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 60 66 and thy love and they and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of life in the morning thou shalt say would God it were even and at even thou shalt say would God it were morning in the daytime you might say man I can't wait to go to the club I can't wait to get off work so I can have a couple drinks and go out but then when they get to shooting in the damn club you say oh I can't wait till I get out of here I can't wait till I get home and I get to sleep in my bed. Uh, for fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear. For the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Okay? I was talking to this chick the other day. I told her where I lived at. She talking about, ain't it dangerous out there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's places in America, or it used to be places in America, where even white people couldn't even go. Black people could barely go. You couldn't go wearing the wrong color. These are the reasons why uh, 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 we kill each other. See? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're never going to see your homeland again. Egypt is the house of bondage that you came back to as bondmen and bondwomen into slavery. You came over here as slaves. You still slaves. Okay? They still got the mental chains on you. You still just a a, a, a product, a piece of property. Okay, you taught to go to work to produce. For a master. You still haven't broken away. You go to work to make money for a corporation. And a man that sits in a high office way above you. That makes a lot of money off your labor. Okay. You're not free. You're not going to vote your way out of it. You're not going to. Uh, well, you might be able to buy your way out of it in this world. But you're not going to vote your way out of it. Okay. This is who you are. That's why Moses said, this day I set before thee a blessing and a curse. And 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 and, and our ancestors took 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 on the curse. Okay, the curse of the law. The New Testament talks about the curse of the law. That the the, the Savior hung to the to the to the cross when he died. Roman historians prove his existence. Okay? It's there. It's in the history. You can't get away from it. Can't just say, "Well, I don't believe in that. I don't know no Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses. I don't. I don't want to believe it." No, 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 no. Your father, whoever your biological father was, did certain things and 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 put you in certain positions in life. Whether he left your mother or whether he left you a trust fund, you can't just say, "No, I don't believe in that." No, I don't. I don't want that. People want the Bible to be perfect. The Bible is about you people. How could the Bible ever be perfect if it's about a, an, a, such an imperfect and wicked people like you? How could the Bible be perfect if it's about you? If somebody wrote a book about us right now, the blacks in America, 
and our children's children's children had to read it uh, some thousand uh, uh, years later. Do you think they would like the book? Think about it, man. Um, Amos seven and seventeen. Right quick. The Bible says this, the word of God, Amos 7, 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. And that's exactly what happened, man. The young men go to the military, die in the Middle East. Vietnam and die. Get Asian orange spraying all over. Go to the Korean War and die. Go to Iraq, Afghanistan, and die. Fighting the Revolutionary War and die. Go out here on the streets, get into little beefs, and die. Your wife is a harlot in the city. Your wife walks around with, with skin-tight clothing on and dances in videos butt naked. This is These are your wives. These are your women. Yeah, they're your woman. The castle say, oh, why you keep saying my woman? They don't have no loyalty. It don't matter. If your mama don't have no loyalty to you, she's still your mama. Understand that the truth is what it is, and there's no way around it. Now you might also ask, well, what, 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 um, what laws of God did we break? What rules did we break? Oh, you've broken a plenty. This is Exodus twenty and uh, what thirteen? Thou shalt not kill. Plain commandment, law of God. Now you might say, well, the Bible, they have wars and they was killing in the Bible. Who said that they wasn't sinning? This is about what you have to do. Oh, and black men hate responsibility. They always put the problem or put shine the light on somebody else's uh, darkness. You tell them the Bible says not kill. Oh, I don't want to hear that because King David was killing. Well, who said King David was, wasn't sinning? And who says that you have to kill because King David did? Who says that you have to kill because somebody else did? Notice, notice, next time the, a black man has a problem, watch, watch, the first thing, the first thing he says is he, he's going to blame somebody else for, 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 for that mishap. Trust me. Trust me. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Another law of God that you broke. That's why the curses is on you. That's why our, our people are in the position that we're in. You cannot stop committing adultery. You holler at a chick. She tell you she got a boyfriend. You say, shit, I don't care. Fuck that nigga. You don't understand it, the vibration that that puts out to the earth. And the energy of the earth, who is the most high God, pays you right back. Thou shalt not steal, but we in the stealing like no other, robbing banks, robbing each other. It's simple. Do the right thing. You do the right thing. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. You do the right thing. Okay? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Nor his manservant. Nor his maidservant. Nor his ox. Nor his ass. Nor anything that is thy neighbor's. We have the evilest eyes on the earth. We want everything that, that our, we keep up with the Joneses, so to speak. We want everything that our neighbor has. And our brother has. If he got it, we hate on him. We rob it and take it from him or we kill him. A bunch of little animals running around here in the black community. Exodus. I'm going to skip that, man. I'm about to wrap this up, man. I'm going to wrap this up in a, in a second. Leviticus 11 and 7. Something so small as this. And the swine, meaning the pig and the pork. 
Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet cheweth not the cut, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh ye shall not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. You're unclean in yourself. You destroy your own bodies. You catch cancer because of you. You get diabetes because of you. You got high blood pressure because of you. You're fat, sloppy, and obese because of you. You done it to yourself. This is a Bible. This is a Bible. Okay? How many of you have ever opened it and read it? I just want to go around the street and take a poll and ask people, what's the Bible about? And see how quick they say Jesus. But you know what? You know what's funny about that? Is that... This is the uh this is the Old Testament and this is the New. You see the difference? This is the New Testament about Jesus. Yahushua And this is the Old Testament about your history. See all that you're missing? Okay? And the New Testament is a lot more than just believing on Jesus. That's not all you're obligated to do. Okay. Leviticus 19 and 11. Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. These are simple things that the Lord asks you to do that you don't do, and that's why he punishes you. Okay? It's not a coincidence why you're in this position. Okay? It's not a coincidence why athletes and rappers make millions of dollars and they leave you right at the bottom and they don't help you, but you still idolize them. Okay? It didn't just happen. Because it ain't happened to no other people but us. Okay? Leviticus 19 and... um. 13. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. All niggas want to talk about, rap about, robbing niggas. Okay? Instead of going to college, getting a degree, and getting a legitimate job, making some legitimate money. They want that fast money, quick money, dirty money, that stupid money. This is what's wrong with you. This is what God told you not to do. And you done it. I hope I'm speaking clearly enough. Leviticus 19 and 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in no wise, in, thou, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. If you see your brother doing something wrong, you're supposed to tell him about it. And not hate him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. These are things that you don't do, okay, that got you into the position that you're in. Black and brown people, hello, wake up. Okay, that's why your enemies overtop you. Leviticus 19 and 29, 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. First thing a nigga want to do is get tatted up. Watch the basketball game tonight, tomorrow night, whenever it come on. And watch how many of them niggas got sleeves, all kind of tats, looking like cartoon characters all over their body and face. Why would you want to draw on you? That's so childish to me, man. When I was a little trap child, man. We used to write, uh, the girls used to want to write on us. That is so childish, man, for you to want to draw on yourself. Verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. Okay? Got niggas want to be pale. I'm going to send that bitch out, dog. 
We gonna run a train on that bitch, dog. Y'all niggas ain't got enough game for all of y'all to get y'all own chick. You niggas do such do such pathetic pathetic things and think it's cool, man. <laughs> and I ain't saying I'm uh, I'm uh, uh uh perfect. I'm reading you the scriptures. Leviticus twenty and ten. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Uh, 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 Leviticus 20 and 13 If a man also lie with woman As he lie uh, 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 Sorry If a man also lie with mankind As he lie with a woman Both of them have committed an abomination Thou shalt surely be put to death Their blood shall be upon them Okay I seen a dude uh, the other day man Walking had a weave ponytail on and everything Tight jeans on Shrutting through the, through the parking lot Walking somewhere man Stop allowing all you cats come out. I ain't got no problem with homosexuals. Well, you need to have a problem with that madness, man. That's genocide. A bunch of faggots and homos walking around. Oh, I don't care as long as they don't say nothing to me, dog. No, that's a faggot, man. And you lesbians, man. That shit is annoying. Excuse my French, man, but sometimes I don't speak good English. Leviticus 24 and 17. What else have you done wrong? And he that killeth any man shall surely be put to death. Stop killing each other. It's not hard to stop killing each other. And I know the people that need to hear this probably not even on YouTube, not even listening. Not even gonna read that. Not even gonna read that. Not even gonna read that. Leviticus 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Black woman, brown woman, your Israel, okay? Learn some history. You're the Moors, okay? You're the Jews. You're the lad, you're the, you're the Byzantine Empire. Those people were black. The Sars of some of the Sars of Russia, up the up the up the uh, Nicholas, Ivan the Terrible, Vlad the Impaler, okay, Hannibal, the Roman uh uh not Roman the the the, uh, the Carthinian, how you say it from Carthage, the Carthinian uh, uh, uh general. Judas Maccabees, who Mel Gibson supposed to be making a movie about. The Passion of the Christ. Jesus Christ was black, man. Was a black man. Cats talking about they ain't never seen a, a, a person with a, a bronze skin. <laughs> All right. Okay. Last scripture I think I'm going to read. Uh, no two more De Leviticus 23 and 14 uh, Not 14 Leviticus Yeah one more scripture 24 and 1 Okay When a man have taken him a wife and married her And it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes Because he have found some uncleanness in her Then let him write her a bill of divorcement And give it in her hand and send her out of the house Okay Divorce your wife And when she is departed out of his house She may go and be with an another man's wife Okay, that's a, She may go be another man's wife That's what a lot of women do anyway They marry a dude, divorce, and try to find another dude Okay, it's cool And if the latter husband hate her And write her a bill of divorcement and give it in her hand And send her out of the house Or if the latter husband die Which took her to be his wife Her former husband would send her away May not take her again to be his wife after that she is defiled, for that is an abomination before the Lord. And thou shalt not cause the land to sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. See, our women think they can just go out, sleep with a dude. I'm just, I'm just trying him out. We just dating. I just wanted to pay my phone bill. 
No, that's wickedness, man. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. Okay? Um. With that being said, thank you, Dark One Son, for the video. Um. Anybody with anything to add, put it in the comment box. My name is Ayasha Mav. Also, I, Charles Anthony. Um, shout out to the brothers in St. Louis. Shout out to Mad Voodoo Man. Um, shout out to uh, Dan Freeman 717, Harvey Superboy, 7 and 7 Incorporated, Shia, uh, Shia Thayala, and the brothers down in Duval, Florida. Duval, Florida. Shout out to um, Yasha out there out west, him and his family. And everybody seeking the most high and sincerity and truth. And trying to get our people right and back together, man. Okay, I just wanted to provide you with a few scriptures. Much peace and love and respect. All praise is due to the most high God of the Bible, the God of Israel. Okay, and the God of the Gentiles. And um, all glory be unto the most holy son. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay. Signing off from sunny Virginia. Shalom, which is peace.